hello my lovelies and welcome or welcome back to my channel this is love truth and wisdom tarot guidance i hope you all are having an enjoyable day evening afternoon wherever you are and i hope you all are doing well so today i'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are asking the question what do you need to heal um in order to stop certain relationship patterns um cycles in your relationship did i say that right i feel like i butchered the crap out of that <laughs> All right. Okay, so basically the topic is what do you need to heal in order to stop certain cycles um in your relationship? I'm sure I'm I'm going to figure out the title in the like thumbnail. So, yeah. But you get the gist of it. Like basically this is a healing type of reading. Um and this is not just for like romantic relationships. This can be for like friendships, um you know, romantic, family, and everything in between. So we have here three piles to choose from. We have the first pile here with the wounded, or not wounded, but it's like a bandaged heart. Um, we have the second pile here with the crystal ball, and then the third pile here with the candle. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate. Um, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave what doesn't. Do not make it fit if it doesn't fit. I am available for personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, that information will be down below in the description box. Um, and then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me and my channel in whatever way you felt guided to do so. Honestly, I truly appreciate every single one of you. So thank you all so much. And this growing community, our growing Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance family, it honestly means a lot to me. And I'm just so appreciative of your time, your trust, um, just all of you, like all of your comments. I'm just so glad these readings are providing you with some type of different perspective and guidance to whatever situation you are in so thank you all so much so without further ado here let's get on to your reading hello pile one and welcome to your reading if you chose the bandage tart um pile this is your reading for what do you need to heal to stop repeating certain cycles in relationships and like I said this could be all relationships doesn't just have to be romantic even though I am seeing for this group that this could be related to a romantic relationship or just someone that you um, consider a soulmate or you have a very um, kind of spiritual bond with someone that you share an emotional bond with someone that's just kind of on your emotional level like a soulmate basically um, but yeah so let's get into this so what do you need to heal I feel um I feel like you're already on the journey of healing this. I think you're already aware of what you need to heal. Um I feel like sometimes you feel like you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what to do, but that's just part of the process of healing, of awakening. I feel like a lot of you who chose this are awakening or evolving spiritually because with this broken open card, I just feel like you're being broken open. Like you're shattering old parts of yourself, um, like delusions or like illusions of yourself that you identified with that no longer serve you, if that makes sense. So I do feel like a lot of you here are having like a heart awakening or have been going through a heart awakening or will soon be going through a heart awakening here where you're starting to trust yourself more you're starting to trust your intuition you're starting to trust um it's like because you're starting to trust yourself and your intuition i do feel like a lot of relationships are being broken open or being brought to you like soulmate like you could be starting to meet your soul family or you um have met a soulmate of some kind i'm not getting like strongly if this is romantic yet so if you met someone I feel like you maybe or if you're I feel like if you met someone you don't know if this is going to be like long term or something like that or if you haven't you're about to and it's gonna start off as a friendship first before but there's like a a mutual emotional reciprocity there's like a mutual um there's mutual feelings there's mutual like this person it's like mutual let's just say that like I'm just getting like this relationship is going to be mutual and it's gonna be like it's like equal give and take basically is what I want to say so um yes because I feel like there's just yeah yeah I just feel like you're already on this journey to like on, on healing and if this is someone that you already know like you're already with I do feel like you're already starting to heal with them like you're already starting to um heal this relationship hold on for one second 
Okay, sorry about that. My little Miss Kitty was, like, chewing on my cards, but she only does that when, the, like, she needs attention. Like, she hates when I do readings because I'm not giving her my full-blown attention. But anyways, um, so yeah, so where do I leave off? So basically, yeah, you're already, like, on the journey of healing. I feel like a lot of you already know what needs to be healed. So we have selling out here, and this card talks about integrity, inner strength, um, and an opportunity to kind of act from a place of love instead of fear. I do feel like you're being tested at this moment, and that would make sense because you're being broken open, and in order to be broken open or awakened, or like, you know, to just evolve spiritually, shit has to like happen like like shit has to hit the fan like things have to break down things have to be kind of in chaos before they get better um and it just tests your spiritual strength your inner strength your integrity and it gives you like i said an opportunity to act from a place of love instead of fear and i do feel like this is something where you have acted from a place of fear in the past and which caused i feel like a lot of conflict especially with the people you love or just in like um romantic relationships like you may have a um record of just like not of only of like having romantic relationships but it only get into a certain spot or place and then it kind of just falls apart because there's too much conflict or there's too much arguing there's not enough cooperation it's like you both can't agree on something or there's too much like competition or something like that um i am getting that is that may be a cycle for you guys but in i also feel like in relationships you have a tendency or you used to have a tendency to kind of not be in your integrity to I guess people please people please or just you know yeah like kind of just not stand up for yourself or just kind of go with the flow even though it goes against what you believe in or it goes against your morals or your values just something of that nature I just feel like you had a tendency to just not stand up for yourself or not stand your ground or like I said just not be in your integrity um so or this it could also be related to like a job you hate just having a job you hate just because you have to pay the bills or living in a toxic environment just because you're afraid to leave or you don't want to hurt someone's feelings or you're very close to this person but this person is like not really supportive it's kind of a bad influence and is like you know creating all this drama but like it's like you have you feel like you have some type of loyalty to them because like you've known them for like five years or like you know they helped you move one day or something something like that I just feel like um I just feel like it's it's been making you sick you know what I mean it's been making you sick in pursuit of something that is no longer serving you and with the selling out card, it talks about finding the courage, like I said, to stand up for your convictions and take steps towards doing what you love. So I do feel like I'm also getting for some of you, this is a specific message, but for those of you that this is related to like relationships or romantic relationships, I do feel like maybe there was some selling out in terms of like what you would do in bed with these people. Like you didn't want to do certain things, but it's like you wanted them to like you or you wanted to see where this goes so you kind of did it anyway there's some type of like feeling um like I didn't want to do that but I I went against myself and did it anyways and and now look where we're at like I don't even talk to that person anymore I'm just, I regret doing that or I regret sending those photos or something just something that just was not alignment with you that you did anyway out of fear um out of survival out of maybe like a power play or you felt responsible in some way or you thought this would you had like an expectation that this would be successful if you did this this and this even though that's not something that you wanted to do but I just to feel like I feel like if this resonates with you you already are aware of that because you're on your way to freedom and like self-expression and um cho and choice and love and you're not that person anymore or you're trying not to be that person anymore which is yeah you should be really proud of yourself because I feel like that's a lot and it was just a lot on your soul a lot on like it just I feel like in the past you've just been so like insecure or just really moody or just kind of like always in conflict with people just because you weren't standing up for yourself you weren't in your integrity and I with this we have oh my god I can't even say this word what is it Lang yang 
you, I'm not going to even try. But it says awaken and the trigger statement is I don't know what to do. And then the true statement is every moment is a new opportunity. So I just feel like maybe in the past you just didn't know who you were. I'm getting this strong feeling of like you were just lost um, or you thought you were lost. You were just in this place where you just didn't know who you were. You didn't know what you believed in. You didn't have like maybe a lot of morals or values. You didn't, probably didn't even know what integrity was until something kind of happened. Um, that sparked this or that kind of shattered this illusion of you kind of forgetting who you are and we've all been there we all we came into this world forgetting who are who we are in truth you know our true being so this is like nothing to be ashamed of or anything like that but I do feel like this is a cycle that you were in that maybe it got to a certain point where you just couldn't be in it in it anymore because you maybe you just did something that really was like why the fuck did I do that like that was like not even me like I don't even know who I am like you know like a really triggering type of situation where it just made you kind of take a step back observe reflect and be like I can't do this anymore like I'm not this person anymore like I don't need to I have to stop doing this type of vibe um and with bust out of your cocoon again this is t speaking about like a phase in your life is ending and a new one is beginning which is really really good so i do feel like you're on the verge of like new possibilities um even though you may feel kind of restricted at this time or like you don't know what you're doing or you don't know what to do you're not trapped because i feel like maybe like some of you feel like you're trapped i just feel like um it's almost like you're a butterfly struggling to become free out of the cocoon. But like you're already a butterfly, you just have to break out of that cocoon. And it's just kind of breaking free of present limitations and releasing your spirit to a greater, more expansive way of being, basically. So I do feel like spirit is saying to like push past your fears and limitations and have the courage and confidence to like explore new heights and stuff like that because I do feel like you're on the threshold of spreading your um spiritual wings like I said like sorry for that car it's so loud um yeah spreading your wings and like going in a new direction and embracing your full potential because I'm just getting this like very exciting time that is well worth any discomfort you may be feeling at this moment so the more that you can be honest and release what no longer resonates with you which i feel like a lot of you are already doing and step away from things and situations and people that don't bring you joy um and just reach out for something greater i feel like it's really going to benefit you and like i said you're already on this path but just keep doing what you're doing because um you just have to let go of what is no longer serving you. I think that's the hard part because it's been a part of you for so long. And like I said, you may have identified yourself with that past or that action or that behavior or that pattern, but it's not who you are in truth. And I do feel like you're entering a time of spiritual empowerment. So you're going to be able to like fully engage with life on your own terms, which is really, really, I just, I feel so happy, like happy tears are coming. Like you should be so proud of yourself for how far you've come, honestly. Um, because who you are today, it's like you're not the same person you were in the past. And you get to decide what you want to experience right now. And once you decide what you want to experience and, and who you are in truth and how you want to live and how you want to act and behave, um, nothing's going to stand in your way. Like you're literally like breaking open a whole bunch of barriers and like really like expanding. You're like this beautiful like lotus flower and like lotus flowers. Um, they only grow in like mud or like really like sturdy, like just really like tough situations, like a tough environment is when lotus flowers bloom. So I just feel like you've really been through some shit. Like you've really been through some tough cycles, some tough situations in regards to relationship. And this is with like friends, family and romantic. I just feel like your relationships have always been kind of um, a problem or just difficult. Like you've always found a problem maybe I feel like a lot of you never knew what compromise was like you've always found it a problem to compromise because you thought compromising was just like going with the flow like being a yes man or a yes woman or like people pleasing and that's absolutely not what compromising is um compromising is more like cooperating like agreeing to disagree um not compromising your integrity your values your morals not doing stuff because you expect another person to do it or not doing something even though you don't believe in it but you want a specific outcome like that's not compromising I mean it's compromising but it's actually more like selling out um that's not really compromise compromise is like i said like cooperating agreement agreeing to disagree learning how to work together like instead of you know 
being like my way is the only way and that's it it's more like learning how to like yeah like learning how to work together learning how to collaborate um I guess is a better choice of words and with broken open I love this card it's number 28 and this is my reading to you guys like this is my pile so I know what you guys are going through so with this broken open card this is like I'm telling you like this is like a gift of like grieving being shattered like a lot of loss but like it has the potential to open you up to new horizons so I feel like there are situations going on in your life right now like I was saying that you are being tested I I feel like you're being tested on the value of loss, the value of grief, the value of a broken heart. I feel like you may be feeling this up and down, um, maybe not every day, but like, you know, one day you're good and the other day you're like crying uncontrollably or you're feeling broken hearted. And it's like, this is showing you that it's not the pain or loss that must be the focus of your attention here. And it's not even like what happened, like the story of what happened. Um, like the details around it it's important that it's like the results from the experience is important like what has this shown you what has this taught you like what are you learning from this can you see the situation has broken you wide open basically can you see that this has enabled you to have an even greater capacity for love for compassion for empathy for understanding it's like you're, basically you're just not the same person you were before and you can't be the same person you were before anymore like the only way forward is to move through it without resistance or manipulation so I feel like maybe there was a lot of people resisting um you were resisting or you were manipulating and um even being like a sellout is manipulation because there's some type of expectation or outcome you want so even being a victim or a martyr is manipulation you know what I mean so I just feel like there's this um like there's like unseen forces helping you because none of your usual fallbacks can put you back together again because you're not that same person does that make sense and like if you do fall back to certain habits to certain um like like if you do fall back to like being a victim or self-absorption or like self-pity it'll just make it harder to get to the next phase leading to relief because I feel like you need relief I just feeling like you feel stuck or you feel a lot of pressure in your heart chakra and like you just need to be relieved of this and I feel like you could be prolonging the inevitable. There's maybe a specific relationship that you need to relieve yourself from. It doesn't mean you need to leave that person, but it just means you need to energetically detach from them or emotionally detach from them. And I think it's it's something that you're not wanting to do because you're scared because you do love this person. I do see there, there's love here. We have the Queen of Cups here and the two of cups so there is love here there's connection here but the type of connection has to change because you're changing you can't this relationship is changing because you're changing and I feel like this person is changing as well so you both are on the same level and this like I said it doesn't have to be romantic I am getting romantic but this could be a sibling a friendship um a family member a mother something like that like your relationship with this person is changing and um the more that you accept who you are and who you're becoming because you're integrating this like difficult experience and allowing yourself to be more than what you are you're getting a lot of wisdom um and it comes at a high price because i just feel like it just it's just hard like the the value of your experience that you're going through and that you have gone through is like and like moving to that other side is like unsurpassed does that make sense like loving you is that's the result of being broken open by life's challenges and lessons the more that you can love yourself the more that you can awaken to every moment is a new opportunity and you can engage your senses and create the reality and the relationships you want and tension and not letting tension divide you anymore not letting tension divide your head and your heart because all of that is leaving I'm just getting so much compromise so much agreement so much balance empathy um, calmness comfort within yourself and because of this it's going to reflect in like I feel like all your relationships honestly it's not just romantic ones but if you are specifically here for a romantic one or like you that's like the main relationship focus is your romantic relationship then I definitely see that's awakening and changing 
um yeah there's like a, just a lot of mirroring here and I feel like there's going to be some type of reconciliation or um making amends with this person like I feel like this person like you both are coming back together because you're coming back into yourselves and you're growing like you are ready to fly you're ready to be butterflies you're ready to transform you're ready to be free and to experience relationships without attachment experience relationships without selling yourself um short or selling out we're experiencing relationships without um being competitive or having conflict or tension or being an imbalance or being um experience relationships without having this distrust within you and within this connection I just feel like all of that is like basically gone like I do feel like you're you're just about to like burst with new new energy new love hope faith all these stars like you could be a star seed you and this person um could be very magical beings just very spiritual like getting enlightenment just growing and allowing yourself to like become more of who you truly are like your true nature in your being which is really really good you guys should be so proud of yourselves honestly this is like I feel like it's been a really tough tough journey and you're basically on the tail end of it I mean it, it's always a journey like it never ends but like the toughest cycle which I feel like is your relationships um particularly your romantic ones are is coming to an end like you're gonna have a new opportunity to like be with this person in more of awakened state like you both are um because you both are like connected um you have like this infinite soul bond type of vibe so yeah so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful i'm gonna leave it here i hope this provided you with like a different perspective some um guidance and like yeah um i just hope this helped if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so um i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile two and welcome to your reading if you chose the crystal ball um pile this is your reading for what do you need to heal to stop repeating certain cycles in relationships so okay and this could be all relationships so right now i'm seeing family relationships is the strongest energy coming through here so this is you trying to evolve past old family traditions that no longer serve you but i do feel like this is something you're resisting because you're afraid maybe of your own power or you're afraid what your family will think of you um maybe your family is providing you with financial support and you know once you kind of maybe tell your family what you believe in or you want to do something else or you want to do other traditions or something like that they may like um no longer be that financial support so i feel like your family could be a little bit controlling or maybe not all your family but someone specific that you are entangled with is controlling um i do feel like there could be a lot of like arguments or conflict with your family because i am seeing like family feuds here so there could be something like that where I just feel like there's a lack of sharing. There's like your family doesn't like to share something. Um, and I feel like maybe you were taught this and this is something that you grew up with. I'm getting like you were conditioned to kind of keep things to yourself or only share. It's not really sharing. It's more like a business transaction, like only share out of obligation. Like I'm only giving you this if you give me this, like that type of stuff. I think you were... Um, taught to maybe hold on to things um out of comfort because you never know it's like what am i what am i trying to say like there's a comfort thing here like you're in your comfort zone like this is what you know but it's like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't feel good anymore it doesn't allow you to grow it doesn't allow you to master yourself because i do feel like you're very powerful with the phoenix rising and you have a lot of skills and you have a lot of um resources that you don't need your you, you don't need your family for this anymore like I'm not saying like ditch your family but if your family's providing you with some type of resource but it just seems like it's like killing your soul like because it's so goes against like what you know to be true or it goes against not goes against something but it's just not with how you want to live it's not something you want to keep up that's not a tradition you want to continue moving forward um you don't need them for that resource anymore i think you have your own resources and whether that's spirit or other people but you are really resourceful and you have a lot of like i said you have a lot of skills and i feel like 
you're trying to concentrate on creating something just for you that you can be proud of because I feel like maybe for some of you you're not proud of what you've been creating or what you've been involved in when it comes to your family stuff and um you just want to go out on your own and create first of all create your own family um but in your way like you don't want to carry on certain beliefs patterns behaviors traditions from your upbringing from your family lineage like that's something but it's like there's this resistance to it because I feel like you're just afraid that it's gonna like your family's gonna disown you or abandon you or judge you and they might do that but I just feel like that's not your concern because it's like you won't need them for that validation that comfort like you know what I mean you won't it won't be you're releasing the attachment to your family not like your family unless you want to but you're releasing the attachment to them like the codependency of them um so we have here what does that say consolation comforting it the trigger statement is i cannot go on and then the true statement is my heart is light so i do feel like um i do feel like this is something that you're working on i do feel like you're trying to hold the space for your feelings and to allow yourself to feel how you feel it is difficult because i do feel like you were maybe brought up to not feel your feelings to um mask your feelings to suppress your feelings to judge your feelings um Um, especially if they were on like the denser side, like to not be able to express them and maybe you weren't able to express anger or sadness or hurt. Um, I just feel like there is this like resisting certain feelings, but I, I, it's something that you can't resist anymore. So I do feel like you're trying to honor them and be with them, like be with your inner child, like be the parent that you didn't have. And, um, I do feel like it's working. It's just really hard because it is like lightening your burden because I feel like you're burdened by certain emotions, by certain feelings. Like you can't tell your family how you felt about them because they supported you your whole life or something. Or you can't tell them how you feel because of this, this and this. And just by you saying that, do you see how that dynamic is not healthy? It's not fair. It's not balanced. Um, It's like a trauma response. It's very like wounding. It's very obligatory. And it doesn't matter like if this is like, and this doesn't have to be family, but I am getting family. And it doesn't matter if this is like your mom, your dad, whoever, like no one has the right to tell you how you can feel and what you can feel and when first off. And again, and this is not to like hoe them or hoe your parents or hoe whoever, but this is just saying like they were taught the same thing. You know what I mean? They were taught to suppress their feelings and to, um, you know resist change and to resist their feelings resist awakening like you know having this I feel like your family has a fear of loss for some reason like a fear of letting go of certain things because for whatever reason whatever but I do feel like that's something that you're aware of and you're growing out of because it doesn't feel good anymore it doesn't make you happy it's keeping you stagnant it's keeping all these like suppressed emotions and it's not allowing you to awaken to your true nature so I do feel like there's just some things that um some behaviors some patterns some ways of thinking that you have inherited from them that you no longer want to inherit from them anymore and yeah your heart is feeling it's filling with light like you are able to like move forward and you're able to like let go and you're able to see things and you're able to like um sorry um you're able to see things and you're able to like um do things in moderation because yeah with do things in moderation I just feel like there's a balance here like you it's like you're you're doing things slowly but surely but it is difficult so doing things in moderation I think is very very important for you um especially when it comes to letting go and detaching from your family detaching from certain behaviors beliefs patterns thinking um detaching from loss or fear of loss because there's like a there's a fear of like abandonment and loss here that I'm picking up and this is something that your family has like conditioned you to believe in and this is something that I don't like I feel like you don't want to carry on when you have your own family or your own like you know security you know what I mean your own whatever you want to build this is not something you want to carry on so yeah because we have the tower here in reverse so there's just like this resistance to 
an upheaval but I it's gonna happen regardless because you are the magician because we do have the magician so you are the magician here you are the master of skills you are resourceful you are someone that if you concentrate on what it is you want you can create a new whole a whole new reality for yourself a whole new world of being a whole new like the phoenix rising like I was saying like a whole new way of like living and the Phoenix Rising talks about how everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise, you know, like the Phoenix Rising from the ashes and like with renewed strength. So this is a time to like sweep away everything that hasn't worked for you in your life. And there are so many things that are breaking down, I feel, and not going your way because the old cycle of your life is completing and you just can no longer like accept that anymore like you get you just can't it's just it's not working for you anymore and so you may feel that you're like walking through fire or you know it just feels hot like it just feels like you're like going through something like really really difficult because you're about to be birthed anew and you're not going to be able to recognize yourself soon and you're like in the process of like reclaiming your spirit and um I also feel like you're trying not to isolate yourself from your family because you don't want them to get the wrong idea or the wrong impression. And this, like I said, doesn't have to be your family, but it could be like friends that you consider family. Um, but you're trying not to isolate yourself. But again, like, looks like one part of you is trying not to isolate yourself. And the other part of you is like, I don't like belong here. Like, this is not my home. Like, this is not something I want to continue to live in. This is not how I want to live. This is not how I want to think. This is not how I want to behave. And maybe every time that you try to express certain things that you want or think or you try to act in your integrity around um, these people, they like throw so much shade on you or so much fire on you or so much hate on you or like they like put you down or say like, you're never gonna be able to do that. I don't even know why you're trying or they like, yeah, it's like this per these people like put you down or this person puts you down and it makes you second guess like, okay, can I let go? Is this something I can do? Am I just fooling myself? Like something like that. I just feel like there's a lot of like back and forth type of energy and um and spirit doesn't want you to like isolate yourself from the chaos because chaos is what creates like, you know, other worlds. It what creates like, you know, universes and different dimensions. But it is it's like they want you to be a part of it, but in a way where this time you feel your pain, you feel your emotions and you don't suppress them anymore and you allow yourself to feel how you feel without feeling guilty or ashamed for how you feel just because they did this this and this for you in the past or just because they bought you lunch one day or whatever like you know what I mean like I think you can I think this is like spirit is giving you this opportunity to like be yourself and speak your emotions express yourself express how you feel because the universe has plans and opportunities that are way better than you can imagine so the more that you can let go and trust and anticipate what is coming the better that this will be for you and I just think, yeah, there's just a lot of fears about expressing yourself because this was something that you weren't allowed to do and you doing it. I feel like maybe you're the only person that like, first of all, I feel like maybe like I definitely feel like you're the only person in your family or in this group of family, friends or whatever that like is connected to their heart first off. Um, and because with letting go, like that's a big green um, heart but yeah you're connected to your heart and not to like hold them or anything like there's nothing wrong with that but everyone gets connected to their heart when they get connected if, the, if they even ever get connected whatever but I do feel like you feel like you're the odd man out like it's only you like there's no one else but there is someone else there are other people out there obviously connected to their heart but you're so attached to the people that aren't and them making you feel obligatory ab I'm not even gonna say it and then making you feel a certain type of way because you are and like trying to get you to not connect to your heart is what's causing the chaos it's what's causing the like disruption um because you're like taking their word for it instead of like you standing your ground and being like no this is how I feel and I'm allowed to feel this way and it doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't mean like you hate them you know what I mean if you do okay whatever like if you don't okay that's fine but because you're not your feelings you know what I mean you're experiencing feelings you're way bigger than your feelings you're the observer behind your feelings so you know feelings are just a guidance system to where you're at and where you're going and where either where you want to go or where you don't want to go so there's nothing to like be ashamed of or hide they're like your guidance system and I feel like you've been ignoring this your guidance system for quite some time not because 
well out of fear yes but because you were taught to so now you're like teaching yourself I can't I have to listen to my heart I have to follow my heart basically long story short follow your heart yeah um yeah you have to follow your heart and like surrender to the higher power within you you know what I'm saying and I feel like it's hard around these people about something about this just seems difficult around these people because they're really like just not here for it like they're just not understanding they're just not understanding and that's fine and it maybe that's your cue once you do it to kind of like create some distance it doesn't mean like you have to never speak to them again it just means let's just have some space you know like I'll see you when I see you like no hard feelings but like this is just how I feel if you can't accept it then I have to go you know what I mean that I have to go this way I have to do this like I have to follow my heart and it's not like they're doing this maliciously I just they're just they don't know what's happening like you know what I mean like they're just they're just scared basically they're just scared because they've neglected their feelings for so long that anyone showing any type of emotion just scares them so that it is what it is and maybe it'll and maybe it'll scare them to awaken them and maybe it'll just scare them where they'll just leave your life but whatever the case may be you have other new experiences and other new people um coming into your life that I feel like you already know about because I feel like you're ma manifesting someone um in particular that you know that is also just like you that is very warm and comforting and loving and considerate it's someone that you want to build a family with someone that you want to have your own traditions with someone that you want to um share both with share your love with share your heart with so I do feel like there's other it's okay to let them go I feel like maybe if you needed like this type of like confirmation or this like you just needed someone to tell you it's okay it's okay I'm telling you it's okay it's it's source will handle it creator will handle it god will handle it whatever you call it like it'll be handled. It's okay. You just really have to like stand your truth, stand your ground and express yourself and not judge it and not feel ashamed about it and not feel guilty about it because it's how you feel and you're allowed to feel how you feel. You're human. Um, and just have compassion for them because they've been, they don't know, you know what I mean? They're just scared and they don't know and that's okay. And they may come at you really harshly or they may like say a lot of mean things and it's just because they're scared and they, they love you, but they don't know how to express it being like, you know, I'm going to miss you. I'm never going to see you. They like have it in their head that they're never going to like be a part of your life. And that's not the case. And unless they make it, you know what I mean? Unless they make it the chase, the case with their choices. And I don't think that's something you want and it's not something they want, but unless they start awakening and making better choices and just allowing you to feel how you feel, that's just how it's going to be. And it doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever. It just means until they kind of come to a place, place of like surrender and acceptance for who you are and how you feel distance is just needed and that's okay it happens to everyone honestly it's happening to me it's ha it's happening to like everyone I speak to so this is not like a it's not a it's it's it feels bad going through it but it's okay trust me um do I want to I want to redo things in moderation because I feel like there's a message in there for you so this is about um so do things in moderation. This is about the divine energy is calling you to achieve moderation in all things at this time. Exercise self-control, but still enjoy life and all its delicious offerings. To be self-denying to the point of severity robs you of sweetness in your life. This is not wise, nor should you be indulgent in pleasures that your accesses sicken you. Um, so basically, this is saying to follow your path of moderation and avoid any extremes of any sort. Um, just allow yourself to enjoy life, but don't let the pleasure overrun your good sense, basically. So like, nothing, not an all or nothing type of approach, basically. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting like psychic abilities. I feel like a lot of you have psychic abilities or are like coming into psychic abilities there's like an equilibrium here where there needs to be a balance between your spiritual self and your practical self so don't it's just trying not to neglect either part of that but trying to keep things in balance um yeah because there's just like a lack of balance here so again like trying not to isolate yourself or you know feel or like isolate yourself from your family or anything like that but just try to balance it and like I said the more that you just allow yourself to feel and when things come up you allow yourself to express how you feel and not feel guilty about it the more that this will just get easier and it and like all the like I don't think there's a lot of like 
there's a lot of feuding but it's it's something about it is funny like it's like it's a necessary one and it's like I think for a lot of you you've already kind of surpass this it's just like the last lingering energies of like family members or friends trying to keep you at their level energetically and I don't think you're buying into it but it's bothering you does that make sense it's like you already have let it go but they haven't and they keep like trying to pull you in and it's just like annoying you and then you start giving energy to the annoyance and you start giving them what they want which is you to get like a reaction out of you and then you kind of just like oh my god why did I react that way like I totally like gave them what they wanted you know what I mean and I I just feel like that's it's like the last that's the energy it's like that last little bit because I feel like you've already left honestly I feel like you've already kind of made your own way or you've started the process of making your own way but there are people around you that don't want you to do that for their own selfish reasons for their own fearful reasons honestly so I wouldn't pay too much attention to it or give it too much energy continue to concentrate on what you want like I said with the magician here um and know that your heart is is light you know you are light you are love and you don't need to and that's all you need to focus on honestly um but yeah so that is what I see for you guys so I hope this was helpful and I hope this provided you with a different perspective and some more guidance to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so I'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later take care hello pile three and welcome to your reading if you chose the candle this is your reading for what do you need to heal to stop repeating certain cycles in your relationships and this goes for all relationships um just any relationship that you find yourself repeating certain cycles that you wish you don't want to repeat anymore so the first thing i'm picking up here this is a very a lot more of a calmer energy than the other two piles but it is there's something very specific and strong um in this energy when it comes to maybe the stories you tell yourself because the storyteller card is what's coming out to me the most right now um so it says storyteller number 17 and this card speaks about um how you identify yourself um positive self definition and teaching others how to treat you through the stories you tell about who you are so i feel like a lot of you may have this like maybe negative self talk or you're telling yourself you're over, you're identifying yourself with things that are not supportive of who you are in truth like you are telling yourself a story about who you were in the past or what you did and that's you or whatever the case may be you're like almost like addicted to a certain way of being or a certain way of being seen and that's how people are responding to you and that just reflects like um yeah and that just kind of that i what did i want to say i feel like i lost my train of thought um basically it's just like how you identify yourself it's like do you know the story that you're telling others about who you are it's like something that you're not paying attention to because it just like i said it, oh that's what i was saying it reflects how they treat you and it reflects like like the relationship you have with them is like based off what you're telling yourself and what you're telling them i feel like so first of all let me just say that i do feel like a lot of you who chose this are very unique beings with unique talents i mean we're all unique but um something about this relates to your destiny or can be found in the way like you weave together um yourself in the world i do feel like there's a lot of things in your life that you want to change and now is the time to adjust the story you tell about yourself in order for you to see that change so i feel like maybe sometimes you could be too self-depreciating or too apologetic apologetic or um about who you are how you shine or you maybe you minimize your power so that others will accept you or something like that um or maybe it's it could be it's i'm getting so many things it also could be like the way you voice your expectations or diminish your ability to succeed or your or your, like your willingness to tolerate a less than supportive environment or a less than supportive like relationship it's like it's like there's like this denial when it comes to others and their behavior towards you does that make sense and like the more that you understand that you teach people how to treat you through how you talk about yourself the i feel like the better that this will 
like be because there is this because we do have first of all we have the four of swords the two of pentacles and the ace of matches so the which is the ace of wands so there's a new beginning here and once you recognize that your like your story about how what the once you recognize what your story what story you're telling yourself and telling others about like what do i want to say why am i getting like so spacey all of a sudden what the hell i there's something going on like i feel like maybe some of you don't know how to communicate the true you you're holding on to like this old identity that you have like down pat like it's like you've rehearsed it it's you it's been you since you were a child and like you telling other people about who you are or you explaining your beliefs or certain how you see the world or what you want to create in the world is very very difficult because um we do have wintergreen here that speaks about trust and it says the trigger statement is what if something happened so i feel like you're not trusting yourself to write this new story you're like thinking like what if this happens or telling yourself worst case scenarios like what if this happens what if i say this and this person says this then what do i say but the true statement is i take my hands off the off the off the wheel and like basically let creator work through you it's like you may have over identified yourself through like your actions through your work through your accomplishments through your body which a lot of us do like we're all like conditioned to do that but that's not the truth of who we are that's not the only thing we are that's only like a small small fractal of who we are you are this big magnificent source creator in incarnate in this human vessel you are spirit having a human experience and i think you have a hard time maybe telling that story or maybe believing that or trusting that um maybe even telling yourself that could be something that i'm picking up on because there's this like there's this like connecting like to your true power that i think you're a little bit scared of because of what of the story that originates in your mind like I think you like maybe over identify yourself with how you think or what you think and it's basically based on your conditioning and past experiences like I said we all have been and how you view the world and what you expect to see in it and the truth is like you have everything you need to tell a new story to weave something more to attract more blessings into your world and the more that you practice speaking because I think this is something that you need to practice the more that you'll see like amazing results and like success and like an overflow of abundance and all the love that is yours because you are love and soon the outer world will like tell the same story back to you because right now the world is just reflecting the story that you're telling yourself so um I do feel like a lot of you are healing from this it's just you're trying to balance it with different priorities or you're trying to just kind of I don't know there's something about you being flexible like maybe when it's convenient for you you tell this story but then when it's not you don't but there's a lot of like introspection that needs to happen or that is occurring and like you're recuperating from something um because it's preparing you for a new like opportunity and potential to like write a new story it's like you're gonna feel inspired soon and with beauty being here which is a really pretty card number 17 i do feel like so this card talks about recognizing your inner and your outer beauty um and it basically is saying like you're so beautiful you're so special you're so unique you're so attractive like when was the last time you told yourself this when was the last time you looked in the mirror and you felt good about what you see because there's this like you it's like i feel like you don't feel good about what you see and that reflects in your relationships and it reflects in the world and so like I just feel like your internal experiences are etched on your face and 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 your body and people can feel this energy when you enter a room and when a person who is not thought of as being physically good looking connects to their own inner light and wisdom and warmth like a glow happens so it's like you're beyond like just your physical beauty you're like this bright light wisdom warm glowing being celestial being that like is so appealing and attracts people and opportunities towards them but i feel like you suppress it or you hide it because you don't trust it because you don't trust yourself of maybe your own powers because i do feel like you're very powerful and you're very again i'm getting like unique um so like the more you focus on what you love about yourself and allow yourself to shine the more that you'll see this in your outer reality and i do feel like you're being challenged by how you see yourself and by a person or people and this could be the perfect time for like some type of makeover which i already feel you're doing because you have the four swords here so you're already doing like this inner work 
this mental work, this like external and, and maybe like even an external makeover, but there's just like this opportunity to change the way you see yourself and like again like live your life to the fullest because live your life to the fullest talks about like aspects of your life that you're avoiding and where you're holding yourself back out of fear of the unknown or past conditioning so there's a lot of past conditioning that's being played out right now in your life and um, basically what you're experiencing in your relationships and it's a cycle so what experiences do you wonder about or do you long for or do you envy there's like basically the divine is asking you to break out of old habitual self-identity type of situations and routines and like basically have the courage to challenge yourself to the fullest and to pursue your passions without reservation so i do feel like again like there's maybe like a strong addiction to earthly existence like your body like anything that's physical and tangible but i do feel like by holding on to it, you're keeping yourself from experiencing the true nature of who you are. And it doesn't mean you have to throw it away. It just means you have to balance it and know that that's just not who you are. It's like, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of big dreams and you want to live large and you want to do things in a grand way. But you like, because you don't believe in yourself or you because you don't trust yourself because you feel like, what if something happens if I do this? Or what if I get this and then I have to do this, this and this? Sorry if you hear that noise. Um, that's my kitty playing with something she has no business playing with okay and um yeah it's like the more it's like the more that you keep telling yourself like worst case stories or worst case scenarios the more that you're just keeping yourself back so there's this like need for you to not sit on the sidelines anymore and to yeah like not hold yourself back and know that you're capable of anything that you want to be or anything that you want you can do but it's not going to come from just like external actions it's not going to come from you just doing like it comes from a place of being of believing yourself and not just like looking like you believe yourself because it's like almost like you're like you're having this internal battle within yourself but maybe your outer appearance is like I'm cool everything's cool like I'm great I have I'm living the life of the I'm living the life of my dreams but like externally you're just so miserable and so unhappy and like all that's reflecting back to you is like miserable and unhappy circumstances and you're just like what the fuck like I'm this person like I have this job I have this amount of money I have this car like why is I'm getting all these shitty experiences and it's because you're having like a shitty experience inside like you're having like a shitty time internally and that may be something you've been trying to avoid I don't I don't feel like a lot of you have been avoiding it I feel like a lot of you are healing it because we have the four of swords here but it's difficult to heal it's difficult for it to come up it's difficult for you to like maybe do some introspection or reflect on this time but I do think you're having um it's like you're having trouble balancing like like I said the spiritual and the practical the internal and the external so it's like it's just a practice thing I don't think it's anything super serious it's just like you're having a hard time trusting yourself um but the universe wants you to know that you're not alone and it's working with you and the more that you can relax and just enjoy this adventure of you telling yourself and creating a new story for yourself and living life to the fullest and knowing that beauty is not just outside but it's internal as well that's what really counts that's what attracts all the beautiful things to you that's what attracts all the like right people relationships abundance opportunities which I see coming for you like it, it's what's on the inside that counts and I know that's like cliche but it's true like the external means it's just a reflection of the internal most of the time even when you don't see it even if it's just energetic it's reflecting and I feel like that's something that you're noticing or you're starting to understand and you're starting to be like okay like let me balance this let me because I feel like like I said a lot of you understand this a lot of you if this is like resonating with you in some way like you already are on this journey of healing this of like coming into balance with yourself and being inspired again to write a new story for some of you you could be writers um but not believing in your work or not believing in your writing or you feel like when you start writing for like a particular like tv show or you start writing your book or something you're wondering like what if this happens what if i get like in trouble or what if I have to do this this it's like you're telling yourself some type of story because deep down like you're having a hard time believing in yourself and believing in your dreams um believing that you can live your life to the fullest and it's like you're putting on this front but it's like the world is showing you we see you for who you are we see what's going on inside you can't fool us you can't fool the universe the universe is always going to reflect to you what's going on within you it's like that's just how it works and um and you could have like all the riches and all the like love and all the stuff in the in the external world but 
it will always like the universe will always reflect what's going on inside you know what I mean and sometimes we don't like that and sometimes we don't understand it and sometimes we're like oblivious to it because we're just like so focused on the external but the more that you focus on the internal the more that you'll soon to understand like oh okay that's why I attracted this or that's why um I have this but I feel like I'm gonna lose it or this is why this is happening to me it's like the more that you understand like yourself internally the more that you can kind of like again like write a new story that's in balance like that's like your thoughts and your feelings are in balance are in alignment where it's like you're not thinking one thing and feeling one thing you're not seeing one thing and feeling another like they're in balance about what you want what you feel what you think and what you desire and you're acting and moving from that place of like alignment basically um but yeah I see like and it's it's also I'm not really picking up like where this is in your life for some of you this is like work related honestly I'm getting like work relationships or like co-workers colleagues um maybe friendships for some of you who are in school this could be like school friendships like something like that where it's just like you're feeling um you're putting on such a good front it's like I feel like your friends or your colleagues or coworkers would never know that you don't feel fulfilled here you don't feel fulfilled doing this or maybe the some of them that do know they don't understand why you wouldn't because you're making money or because you have a steady income or because of this this and this and you're just like this is not what I want this is not just who I am like I'm a writer I'm a storyteller I love creativity I love doing this this and this and I want to be able to trust myself and know that I'm able to achieve that I'm able to be the best writer I'm able I'm able to have a book that's best selling but I have to believe that I'm capable of that I have to believe that that's in me and not look for like external validation or anything like that to like tell me but I have to like believe it basically and I do feel like you're changing and transforming because there's this snake here in this beauty card so this is like shedding old skin but I do feel like you're scared to do this because you've been so attached to like your identity or maybe your looks or maybe everything external to you but it's falling apart like slowly but surely basically and like you have to let go of some of your external like desires a little bit right now for you to find like the beauty within to you to for you to find the like desires within which I think you're already aware of but you just haven't been honest with yourself or you don't trust it or something like that because it may be different from what other people believe in or what other people desire or how society sees certain things so um yeah this was different than the other piles i feel like this was a lighter energy but like i said a very specific message for some of you so i'm gonna leave it here so i hope this was helpful i hope this provided you with um a different perspective and some guidance to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care